Hello everyone, welcome to my class. I'm um, Fola Shade Bankole Usigwe. I'll be your teacher for today. And we'll be talking on the class um, topic is on how to start your cement business in Nigeria with or without having a capital. I'm here to put you through this um, modules, the, the class is in different modules and each module, if you follow them truthfully, follow them to the core. If you apply these principles I'm going to discuss with you, it will definitely work for you and you'll succeed in your cement business. I'm the CEO of FNF Global Ventures. We've been in the um, cement distribution for about close to five years now. I'm still counting. So all these things, I've put out my years of experience, my years of knowledge, I've put it together to give you this class. So, starting with how we'll discuss on how we start, um, how cement business came about in Nigeria. Before now, I think before 2011 or thereabouts, Nigeria used to be one of the largest importer of cement, that's Portland cement. We have a variety of cement then such as Boam and among others. Then we import cement we don't produce like we have of today. But now, with the inception of um, Dangote cement, Boa cement and all, it has helped us in our economy and it has helped us. Now we now produce our own cement and we sell. So these have brought up a lot of opportunities for people that want to go into the cement business now. So the major cement in Nigeria now, like you, you mostly know it's um, Dangote cement, <coughs> Lafarge cement, and most recently Boa cement. Um, with Dangote, all, all these cement have their own unique features, and they have their own way of assimilating or bringing in customers or bringing in distributors. So there are two types of um, two types of ways you can start distributing cement. You can start as a registered distributor. That's if you have enough capital and the requirements. You can start as a registered distributor with one of these major distribu uh, major cement producers, like I've mentioned. Or you can start as a retailer. If you are starting as a retailer, you don't need much. Um, you don't need much capital. You don't need much much um you don't have to put so much into it like when you are starting as a distributor so i'll further list the requirements you'll be needing and expertise you'll be needing to start as a distributor because i know a lot of people some some people have the money they have the resources they can go into it as as a distributor while some don't have the enough capital they just want to start small so i'll be touching how to start as a distributor and i'll be touching it how to start as a retailer in subsequent modules thank you